Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my first ever day in the life vlog. I am so excited to take you along on my entire day today. I'm going to be headed to the studio, dyeing some yarn. I'm going to be like just taking you along through the rest of my day as well. So yeah, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. It's now like 6.30 in the morning and Devin is fixing breakfast. What are you making? I am doing eggs and toast. Yep, he's and coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. Ever since we've been married, I've been having breakfast every morning and it has been so nice. I never had breakfast before. I would just eat like a protein bar because I hate cooking. And so yeah, now it's really nice to not skip the most important meal of the day. <laughs> So everyone has their thing they do every morning and mine is I fill my coffee up too full because I'm so excited for that first cup of coffee because I'm so tired every morning. So here we go. Devin did such a good job with this breakfast and I'm using some of um, my mom's homemade blackberry jelly, which I still miss from home so much, but yep, it's a really good meal. Devin really wanted to show his fish corner. You would have seen us turning it on, but it's really, really fun. I love all the pretty lights. And we actually just hung up those gold wall hangings the other day. One of Devin's friends helped me put them up because they're really heavy. <laughs> so yeah, now we're almost officially late for work. I'm gonna pack my crocheting and yeah, we're gonna be on our way. I'm really excited about today. How about you? Pretty stoked. <laughs> he starts work for Indeed today, so yeah. okay, that's why he's wearing the hat. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited. I have so much to do today. It's going to be quite a busy day. And I have my crochet, and my coffee. So yep, it's gonna be fun. and Josie will be here any minute. And I'm going to start by sort of organizing the drying rack. She's gonna be winding pretty much all day today. I'll kind of take you and show you like all the mini sets that I have laid out for, um, yeah, for the update. I'm so excited. I think you're just gonna love these minis collections and I'm going to be working on sort of like getting them organized today. So like all out over here. So it's all of these really, really fun colors. So throughout the day, you'll be seeing me process them. My goal is to get a lot of the product photos finished, sort of get it organized, maybe film a reel. Um, I have a shipment to unload. I have a ton of yarn over here. So yeah, just a lot gonna be happening today. One colorway that I dyed that's a one of a kind specifically for my Soulmates collection that's going to be launching Saturday at 9 a.m which is gonna be when you're seeing this at 11, so this will already be in the shop, but I'm going to be working on getting this stained up and photographed. I paired it with, I have it paired with 
this mini. So these are, it's gonna be a 10 gram sock set, which I haven't done ever. And I think it's gonna be a super fun product to sort of see how it does, see if you guys like knitting with 10 grams instead of 20 grams for your contrasting colors in socks. But I have had like so much fun dyeing up 10 grams, so I just wanted to do some for sock sets as well. So I have this really bright orange with it. It's like an orange with a lot of um, fuchsia, magenta. So this is my Pantone sock set. I don't know if I already said that or not, but this is based off of Pantone's color of the year for 2023, which is a magenta shade. And I'm super excited to, to get this in the shop. I also have this color, which will be going along with it as well as this one. So yeah, I think this is super cool. This is very much what the actual color of the year is like. And this is more of my like creative interpretation of it just for fun. Another really fun sock set that is my personal favorite, even though I really love the other one as well. This one is so beautiful that I did record the recipe because I just anticipated the fact that I would fall in love with it. And I might add it into the shop as a regular, but this is going to be my Deep Affection sock set. It has so many beautiful speckles in it. And you guys, I was so nervous when I dyed this up. I had different pH levels, different water, um, different water levels, and just doing a lot of intense speckling with really highly saturated dye base. So like dye powder. So it was going to be either a bust or it was gonna work. So thank God it did work because I was, yeah, pretty nervous. And I think the colorways I'm most nervous for are the ones that I end up loving the most. So it's dyed a little bit similarly to Stormy Shore and yeah it's it's a fun one by the way i will be dying up some stormy shore today i have that on my schedule to dye stormy shore some party dress and some letter writer sorry for the weird angle but i am winding up a sweaters quantity of persian this was a custom order because i am accepting those now i'm also going to be dying up another custom order today so it's just really fun to put those on my dye schedule and get to dye up some colorways that i wouldn't normally be restocking so yeah Time to wind up some Persian. This is on my fragrant rose base, which is just so lovely. Josie just got here to work. Or at least come over here and she is winding minis. You've been working here since like July, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> yep, she uh, does a really great job. She like washes yarn and as I said, dyes some tonals every once in a while. And now we're just like getting through all of these minis. So much yarn. <laughs>
I just finished photographing one mini set. It's slow going because of, yeah, all of the different shots that I do, different angles, really just trying to make sure that the colors appear exactly as they do in real life, at least on my monitor. But yeah, Josie just left. She got a lot of minis wound. And Devin and I are about to take our lunch break. More yarn arrived. So yep, a lot going on. Let's see what Devin brought for lunch. Devin made chili a few days ago and it is so good. It's like uh, Southern chili, right? Southwest yeah. Chili. Or Southwest chili and it's so good. I love chili so much. And we got some tortilla chips. So I've been informed that I have to talk in these vlogs. So no, you don't. <laughs> I figured for my segment of today's edition, I would uh, cue you guys into Addie's lunch routine. So basically every time we're gonna have lunch, she, I will ask her, are you ready for lunch? She'll say yes, five minutes. Five minutes means 30 minutes, by the way. So 30 minutes later, I go and check her again. She says one second, that means 10 more minutes. So 40 minutes after I decide we're gonna have lunch, um, she, I start making the lunch. Then she'll come down, sit down for a moment, take a bite of the lunch, and then leave and try and do work. I like my lunch breaks on the go, but this is a very difficult one to eat on the go. And then she'll say, then the next time she'll come and sit down again and say, oh man, I love having our lunch together. And I'm like, you're only here for five <laughs> seconds. And then she'll leave again. Um, and then her lunch will get cold. So then she'll come back uh, in a frenzy. Hey, can I you warm up like my lunch really lunches. quick? <laughs> so I'll warm it up again. Oh my. So I'm finished with my lunch. She's had three bites at this point. Well, I just splattered my face with coffee. So yeah, it and is. four messes. <laughs> well, anyways, I do like a break between my lunch because that way I could just, I don't know. I don't like taking a lunch break. So, yes. <laughs> we have a great time. It's just broken up into segments of five minutes. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, after I finish this bowl of soup, I'm going to get back to work. And I guess you are too. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing Addie's an entrepreneur. Um, it'd be really funny to see her in a corporate <laughs> job where she has to take a designated break for things. <laughs> it'd be That'd a great employee. It'd be so funny. Uh, it'd be very productive. But, um, you would be productive. But you I am trying to take more hungry. breaks. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, oh, yeah. so yeah, so he's going to be working on a newsletter later today. So stay tuned for that. He's been writing all the newsletters, which has been super, super cool. And then, yeah, I'm going to be finally dyeing some yarn. I just did like two product photo shots, as you will have already seen, and that's gonna be it for today. And I might film another day this week, who knows? I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just wanna say that I feel is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal It is a lot to unload today, but I did want to share one super fun thing that came in the mail. So I am currently in the process of rebranding, as I'm sure some of you have guessed, by like my new logo on the website and stuff. But this is a sneak peek of how I want my labels to look. 
um, they're going to have like the actual base name. So it's more like a big box yarn store in a way, but still just um, very much handmade. And then where you can find me, I just think this looks so professional and I'm thrilled to finally get to see how they look after months and months of trial and error. I'm going to unload this shipment in a little bit because it is time to start dyeing yarn. But yeah, these labels turned out so good. I can't think of any changes I would make to them. So that is like so thrilling because I've been trying to like design this for months now and it's just really, really cool to see it come to fruition. I'm going to be designing the next labels for like all 10 bases because I'm going to be doing it for all the bases that I have and for mini skeins like 10 grams and 20 grams so I just really want everything to be um like finished fairly quickly because I'm running out of my old labels so it's all coming together beautifully but in the meantime I'm going to head back into the dye studio finally I got all the product photos I needed to get done today I'm a little bit behind schedule but not by much so that's good <laughs> I'm going to head back here and yeah I probably am not going to get to dye everything that I talked about just because the day is getting away from me as it always does so I'm probably going to be able to restock party dress sock sets because that was on my list to do since you guys pretty much sold me out of all of them so thank you for that. I also have been selling so much Stormy Shore so thank you so much for all of your sweater quantities and like it's really cool to see you purchase that colorway. I'm wondering if you're gonna knit a seasons cardigan like I shared on my last video that I'm making. And if you are, it's such a fun knit and I hope you love it. I am going to be dyeing both of those colorways. I'm probably not gonna have time for anything else since it's almost three o'clock and we like to leave around five or 5.30. And all of my pans are washed. I'm so thrilled about that. Josie keeps me sane by like helping with all of this. And I'm gonna clean off my dye tables because I have all my leftover dyes out. So I'm gonna organize those, get my oven ready to go, and take you along for dyeing Stormy Shore. It is a personal favorite of mine, and I hope you love seeing some of the behind the scenes process. But first, it's time to put my ring away so that I don't accidentally get down it because that would be bad. <laughs> I put this shelf up a few days ago and I love it so, so much. You guys, I am so excited for tonight. We are having dinner with one of Devin's professors who we meet with periodically and he is like a serial entrepreneur, has businesses all across the country and it's really cool because he, uh, we asked him like some business questions and he's willing to like meet with us for free and kind of like give us advice and just kind of answer my questions and I'm so grateful for that. Like it's just, it's such a blessing to have like someone I can bounce ideas off of and who will be like straight up with me about certain things like whether he thinks it'll do well or not and yeah it's just really cool so I'm going to be doing um like calls to different yarn stores this week to um just just like see if they uh just like have a conversation with them and it's really cool because we're going to be going over some of the questions I want to ask and just sort of what to say how to say it I've done some research on my own but like that in-person contact is going to be so helpful I already know it is and it's funny, Devin and I were actually sort of doing like a small little script. Like <laughs> I would like quote unquote call him as if it was like a yarn store and like he would ask questions and some of the questions I didn't expect and it kind of threw me off for a second and it helped me like figure out like what I would say for that particular scenario, which I think is gonna be really helpful in real life. So <laughs> anyways, it's just been like, uh, like a lot of practice this last week. So. I'm kind of nervous going into this week just because like the real deal is going to be happening soon and yeah just hoping that I'm prepared enough but I'm really nervous yet really excited at the same time. Something I have never done before and I think it's just going to be a really fun new adventure. <laughs> and yeah now I am all ready to go. Oh I'm so ridiculous. I put, <laughs> I put my respirator on before my apron and you probably ask you have on the grossest shirt, why do you need an apron? The thing is, I get sh I get dye all over my shirt, but I don't wanna change my pants, so I'm wearing jeans, so I have an apron, and my shirt, because I'll sometimes accidentally wipe my fingers on my shirt, I don't know why. But anyways, I'm officially changed into dye clothes with dye shoes on, which is hilarious. They look just like my regular shoes because I accidentally bought the same pair twice. But anyways, I'm just rambling on and on. Time to die, party dress, and storm short. I just wanna hold
Devin is getting gas. I thought I would share what I'm wearing since I don't think I talked about it yet. <laughs> and it is my fascination shawl designed by me. I love this shawl so much. It's really, really big and kind of hard to see right now, but it is knit in my eye in the mirror colorway and common ground as the contrasting color. It uses three skeins for the main color and then one 50 gram skein for the contrasting color. So yeah, it's one of my favorites and it kind of matches my outfit. <laughs> We just got back and it's funny, I never showed you guys my crocheting because I ended up not crocheting at all at work. I never really crochet when I bring it. <laughs> Devin's laughing, but I'm going to turn on my cozy lights and I just got a notification that my Himalayan salt lamp arrived today and I'm so excited because my grandparents have one and I wanted to go in for a while. So I went ahead and grabbed one and I think it's just like the coziest pink light. Devin made some tasty pork chops and bread and peas and I'm drinking one of my favorite teas ever. It's Bigelow peach tea. It's such a good, good tea. And we always watch I Love Lucy during dinner. <laughs> Devin got one of the littlest spoons. I accidentally bought those one time. <laughs> really cute. <laughs> well, at least we have Jan's spoons. We're very, very fancy over here. As you can see, I set up my Himalayan salt lamp. I think it's so cool that it's sort of short and stout and I think it works well in the space. I love that I've been able to get a little bit more mood lighting in here because the winter makes the days get darker earlier and I think it just adds some like coziness to the evenings. But I wanted to share the progress that I got done on my crochet project yesterday. So I had a friend over for like dinner and then like we watched a Harry Potter movie because it's sort of become our thing. And the Harry Potter movies are like two and a half hours long. So I got so much crocheting done. And yeah, I just had a really relaxing Sunday, but look at how much is done. I actually have a corner now, which I'm super happy about. The lighting's super dark, but if you're new and you haven't uh, seen this project yet for, well, first of all, welcome. 
And second of all, I will link up here to my um, to my last podcast episode where I talk in depth about this and many other projects. But it's cool to see that like I have a corner finished <laughs> and now all I have left to do is to just square this off and then to weave in all of these ends, which is not going to be fun, like I've said. But I'm excited to get this project coming to a close. And I have my next few days color colors in here and I already have another little square done. So my goal is to do like two a day or roughly like 12 a week if I slack off. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit of crocheting. But I wanted to thank you all so much for joining me here today and for sticking around throughout my entire day if you made it this far. And just, yeah, thank you for your support. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you this is something you'd like to see me do more of. If you are interested in more Day in the Life vlogs, it was so much fun filming and I really enjoyed taking you along with me on my day. And yeah, until next time, I hope you have so much fun with your knitting and all the colors. Bye. <laughs>